The Stockton Thunder took on the Alaska Aces in the final of a seven-game homestand, and it started off great with Austin Levi's power play goal early, Brandon. Yeah, Jack McClellan, it looked like he was trying to get this to Alex Molay, who was in the slot, but he had a man draped all over him. It ended up going over to Austin Levi in the high slot, and he wristed one home, one nothing Stockton Thunder early in the game. That lead would not hold on for long as Chris Francis answered with a power play goal for the Aces, and we're tied at one. Yeah, Brad Richard put a nice, low, hard shot on the goaltender Ken Simpson. He made the save, but the rebound came right out. And here it is, Olivier Archibald. He gives the Aces a 2-1 lead, and just like that, the Thunder Trail. Yeah, just past the midway point in the first, but the Stockton Thunder would come right back in the second. James Henry couldn't get the deke through, but Shattuck feeds across the ice to Peter Sivak, who scores at this point in time a tying uh, up with Tyler Maxwell, seventh goal of the season for Peter Sivak. And yeah, Peter Sivak continues to hunt the aces, and there's Ryan Constant with a monster hit on Brendan Connolly. Yeah, big hit there, and it definitely bigger hits from this team. It, it required them to put a little bit more effort forward, and then you see Sean Boutan coming up with another big goal, gets that pass from Garrett Hunt, so the grinders getting involved in this one, and there's Sean Boutan. He gets it once. The goaltender makes the save. He follows it up and bangs it through the five hole, and that brought the Thunder up, uh, put the Thunder up by one. And here late in the third period, Sebastian Colbert with a monster goal, and this, fan, this got the fans really excited, Brendan. Yeah, this is probably a goal of the year candidate, one of the best goals I've seen in a Thunder uniform. He completely out deked the defenseman, cut through in between the, the D-men, and uh, put it upstairs. Great job. And Tyler Shattuck with a monster hit late, and here he is at, to add insult to injury, an empty netter. It puts the game away. Yeah, absolutely great effort by the Stockton Thunder, especially after they had some early adversity. They were down in the first period, but as you see, the empty netter here seals the deal. Here we go 4-2-1 and one in the homestand. The 5-3, Thunder win it. I mean, uh, it's a different uh, style of hockey down here, I don't think. Uh, of course, three lines you play a lot and uh, a little more up and down uh, against uh, playing the A, so uh, it's fun to play a lot uh, down here. Take us to that game winning goal you had. I mean, it's a nice uh, pass from Shatter there uh, in the middle, and uh, I know uh, where the D is going there, so I just keep going and uh, find a way to put it in. Kind of a crafty player, you got a lot of speed. Talk a little bit about how that matches with your new line mates for just two games here. I mean, uh, like I said, it's uh, you play a lot, and uh, also when you play tr uh, three games, uh, you kind of know uh, how they play against you, and um, you need to uh, like uh, know you know a little bit more how they uh, be out there, and. Uh, and I think today we played a sixth remaining game, and I think we didn't do that the first two games, so that's why I think we had a win here tonight. Does it ever get old scoring that game and see it here in the roar of the crowd? No, I mean, uh, it's been a little tougher uh, start for me this year, so it's uh, nice to have a goal there. But um, I don't know, just anybody that gets hit like that, um, especially when I'm on the ice and it's just one of my friends, you know, um, I like to play with emotion, and uh, if, if that happens, then you got to kind of step in, and uh, I think it was the right situation too. You kind of started the whole physical nature of the game in the third period there. Talk a little bit about how the rest of the game worked out for you guys. Yeah, uh, that's one of the that's one of the things we went in the third period thinking about is playing physical, especially against their top line because those guys don't really like to play a real physical game. So uh, yeah, it was a good job. We went out there and did it, and uh, ended up getting a couple fights, but that's what happened. You scored a point in the last or three of the last four games, and you guys have jumbled a lot of lines. Especially, you've been bouncing around a little bit. Talk a little bit about uh, developing chemistry with your new guys. I mean, I think that just the way that our team plays, you could play with anybody and uh, and generate success um, if we're all doing the right things. I think we could have the best line combinations, and if we're not doing the right things, then nothing works. And I think we could have guys playing with guys that they're not used to, used to and uh, we all do the right things and it works. So um, tonight, I think we did the right things and I think the, uh, the last couple games, we just weren't. So to what do you attribute the, the change tonight as opposed to the last two nights? Because you guys still played your hearts out for those two games. The results were different than tonight. I think, we, I think tonight we had a couple bounces that went our way, but um, tonight our power play was good tonight. Um, our penalty kill was good tonight and um, you know, I, I think tonight we just we just knew that we had to win this one. We didn't want to let these guys walk away with three wins, so. <laughs> Good.
Yeah, I just try to stand those guys up at the blue line. Maybe if I get a chance, make a big hit. Also just play solid, get pucks out, play simple. Kind of try and do my job so that we can get it out and, you know, the forwards can do their job. You guys were even pretty much the whole game there, even in shots and the goal, or the score. Then you go into the third, you guys kind of control the early part of the third, and they started to gain a little momentum after the 10-minute mark. And then you kind of sprung them with a couple of big hits. Sutter got one in, Shattuck broke the glass with one. And then you guys, well, the rubber popped. Oh yeah. But and then you guys, you know, end up getting the goal. You know, did that? You feel like your physical play maybe as a team motivated your guys a little bit in third there? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I, that's what I try to do. Sometimes I think that, you know, a big hit or you know somebody just playing a solid and doing their job, blocking a shot, and making a hit, can definitely change momentum because, you know, the guys see that somebody's doing something for the team and. And they get, you know, they rally around that and they get pumped. It's like uh, Barney fighting that guy because he buried sets from behind. You know, it's one of those things where he's doing something for the team and guys get up for that. You guys obviously <coughs> won tonight. What's different about tonight's game than the last two games? Because the battle was still there. You guys still were, your heart was still in it the last two games. What do you think was different for tonight? I think the biggest difference we had was mostly our attention to detail. Guys were sharp and guys had their, you know, they had their guys in the D zone and they were making the right passes. We weren't you know, making bad plays, we were chipping it in, we were getting it behind their guys so we could do our best to get in there, dig it out, and put one in. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. So I think that uh, we had some momentum from the third period last night. I thought we had a good third period, and I thought we uh, were really a focused group here tonight coming into the game, and guys were very determined to make sure we got the win. Talk a little bit about the physical play, you guys, in the third period. It seemed like the you know, Barnett fight and some of the writers and Shattuck's big hit kind of changed the momentum a little bit. You know, it was good. At, you know, and guys identified that they need to play physical against certain players because you know there are some guys there that, that are very skilled, and if you don't, if you're reaching for pucks, they're going to beat you. And I think you know Ryder made a big hit there. The guys really rank, ramped up the off the physical play, and uh, it shows. It makes a difference. There's a lot of passion being shown out there tonight. There was it was a fine line between the physicality and then taking a penalty. Did that concern you at all with that third period of? Not, not really. I think that you know, I think at the end he sort of put the whistle away, and you kind of had a sense that he wasn't really going to call anything. I thought that that should have been a hit from behind on Sutter for sure, and he didn't make that call. But um, I thought the guys played with pretty good discipline throughout that.